Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's Sonia here with another video for you. So I thought today I would um, do a what's in my bag. And as you guys probably already know, um, I have fully moved into my beautiful pochette Matisse. Um, so here she is. Um, and so I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on kind of what's inside of her and how I decided to go ahead and pack her. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and before I begin, if you guys haven't already, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I just started out, so I'm hoping to have a few more videos coming your way. And if you guys have any recommendations or requests, um, please just comment down below and um, I will be sure to get to those. So uh, let's get started. So here is my beautiful pochette Matisse. I picked her up, um, let's see, earlier this month um, for my birthday. And it just happens that today is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and open her up right here. And actually, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and angle the camera down a little bit better so that you guys can see exactly um, what is in the bag. So here we go. So here she is. She's currently stuffed to the brims. Um, so anyways, here I'm going to go ahead and start in the first pocket here. Um, I have my sunglasses. So these are my Key Australia sunglasses. Um, they're kind of, in, they're actually brown, but they're beautiful. I absolutely love these sunglasses. So I just, uh, I got those at, Neem at uh, Nordstrom's for um, their anniversary sale. So. So anyways, um, the next thing I have in here is actually going to be my um, card holder. So I have a, I'm a little bit of cash here and um, I have four, uh, two cards on each side, so four cards total. Um, and I actually really like this, it's really handy. Um, this actually is the Tory Burch um, card holder and what I love about this card holder, I'll pull out a few cards here so you can see the details of it. Um, I really love... Um, here you can get a better view, how soft this leather is. I mean, it's so, so soft to the touch. So anyways, um, I've really been enjoying this um, wallet, or card holder, sorry. And then the other item that I have in that first pocket is going to be my Louis Vuitton round coin purse. So um, I actually had a request to do a um, small leather goods, so SLGs collection, so I plan on doing that um, here shortly as well. So that's all I have in the front pocket. Then the next pocket, and the biggest, which is the largest compartment, I actually have uh, my toiletry 19 in here. So this is my toiletry 19, and it actually fits very well in that middle compartment. Um, and in here, uh, I have quite a few things. So I'll just go through them really quickly. Um, I have an inhaler. I do have asthma, so um, I have to keep my rescue inhaler with me at all times. Um, let's see, I have, um, let's see, my... Uh, Creme de la Rose, so I really love this. It works really good to moisturize my lips. I've hit the bottom already. Um, I was really sad the other, the, the other day. I dropped it, and look, I cracked my lid. So I was kind of sad about that, but I um, really like this stuff. Really nice moisturizer if you're just looking for a nice um, lip balm. The next thing I have in here is um, a Neutrogena Pure and Free um, Liquid Sunscreen. So this is actually really nice. Um, I mentioned in my earlier videos that I have two little boys and sometimes when we're on the go this is perfect just to pull it out um, and it goes on, applies really easy and it dries clear so this is really nice. Um, next thing I have is a Tarte um, Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder so I do like this a lot. I'm pretty fair skinned so um, that's the color there. This one is in the light so Love this for um, when I'm out and about during the day. The next thing I have in here is um, my uh, YSL Black Opium um, uh, perfume. And I really, really love this scent. Um, just, I absolutely adore it. Um, this is probably my second or third bottle of, of the purse size. So, and I like it because it's so easy to throw into your bag. And you know, if you're like me with two kids trying to get out in the morning in one piece, um, is hard enough, so <laughs> I always, you know, perfume isn't one thing that I think of to do before I leave the house. So having it in this purse size is really helpful. All right, the next thing I have in here are just uh, some sweet tart mints. Um, they were really cute packaging, and I thought it was so cute. It even has a mirror. Let me see if I can open this for you. It has a mirror. I don't know that we all need mirrors when we're taking a breath mint, but anyways, they're super cute. They are like in little um, heart shapes. So really cute, pick these up at Target. 
The next thing I have in here is my Dior, um, what is this? Dior Attic. So this is just an ultra gloss uh, lip gloss and this is in uh, Diorama is the, is the shade of this. So this is really pretty. It's like a mauve plummy tone. Uh, really, it looks really pretty with my complexion so I like that one a lot. Um, the next thing I have in here is, it's called Olba's, and I don't even know if I can say that, Analgesic Salve, and I really like this, so um, this, I sometimes during the day, and I'm sure everybody has stress, but um, you know, when I stare at the computer for long hours, um, my neck really starts to, um, you know, get sore and kinked up and stuff, so this is actually a pain relieving cream, um, and uh, I really like this, it's greaseless, and uh, it's a natural formula, so I um, really like this stuff. It works um, and kind of leaves you, you with like a cool sensation, so I like that a lot. And the next thing I have in here is another lip product, and this is Kat Von D. Um, this is Bow and Arrow, so this is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. So this is also another really pretty shade. Um, it's a little darker than just, you know, uh, my natural skin tone, so it's really, really pretty. So I like that, and it lasts a long time. Um, the next thing I have in here is um, a little Tarte lip paint that I got in my um, Sephora birthday gift. So they gifted this one to me and it's called Tartist, Tartiest Lip Paint. And I believe the shade on this is called Birthday Suit. So really cute. Um, it's basically a liquid lipstick. It looks just like this. Um, and it's a really actually really really nice natural uh, nudie um, shade. The next thing I have in here is my Opcon Eye Relief uh, Eye Drops. Um, so this is actually eye allergy relief. So again, I mentioned I have asthma, um, but I also have like some from time to time some seasonal allergies. And so uh, my eyes just get so itchy and this stuff works instantly. It burns a little when you put it in your eyes at first, but man, does this really clear up any redness and it just completely, um, you know, takes care of the itching of the eyes and stuff. So. Have, must have for my bag. The next two things I have are these two little um, pills, pill containers. I picked these up at um, the container store and they're really cute. I mean, they're just, you know, just really a cute little way to carry your medicines in here. But, you know, I think in here I have, you know, like some Excedrin migraine and some allergy medication. And then in this one, um, oh my goodness, if I can open this, I might just have some Advil. You can see it's or I'm sorry, ibuprofen, so this is just purely the ibuprofen. Um, a little while back, uh, my I had kind of injured my knee, so it would hurt during the day, so anyways, ibuprofen was a must. So anyways, I have those two different pills, and let's see what else I have in here. I have a pen, so I absolutely love these pens. They're called, um, Oh, let me think if I seven year I think they're called seven year pens and so um, the claim from the company is that the pens will write you know that it has enough ink to last for seven years um, I don't know if that's true I've never tested it out that long but I mean they just have the funnest designs ever um, this one is really cute it has a beautiful mermaid on it in purple and the pen itself is like a mint green and it just twists to open and close it but really really highly recommend this company um, seven year pens um, so anyways really really cute the next thing I have in here you guys are thinking I'm like full of allergies but anyways the next thing I have is a Benadryl pen it's the itch relief stick um, I really like these um, just when I'm out and about with the boys especially now in the summertime um, when you're outside if a mosquito bites you or something like that um, you know always nice to have one of these pens um, handy um, you know just put a dab on it and it takes care of it real quick uh, let's see the next thing I have is a feminine product um, another feminine product um, I have um, some more lip balm. This is Kiehl's uh, lip balm number one. Um, and I just picked this up actually at Nordstrom's rack the other day. Um, and so far I, I like it. It's, it's real nice and it's not very heavy at all. And it just, it seems to be like a really nice moisturizer. So, uh, or moisturizing lip balm. So I'll have to let you guys know how I like this. Um, the next thing I have in here is the um, is my a set of headphones so my earbuds I really like these these are really cute they um, I don't even know what brand these are um, shoot I can't remember it's been so long but 
um, iFrogs, I think is the brand, but it's really neat. It has its own little like cable tire or holder. It's magnetic and then like the earbuds themselves, these are magnetic as well. So that's kind of nice um, for storing them. And then in here I have, um, I swear it's almost empty. <laughs> the Toiletry 19 is very, um, it holds a ton of stuff for not being such a very big bag. Uh, very big cosmetic pouch but it sure does hold a lot um, the next thing I have is actually a nail clipper so I went with my husband to sportsman's the other day and they had these hanging by the register and it's called a monkeys m-u-n-k-e-e-s monkeys and it's really cute it has a little like uh, lever here and you just pull it pull it back and it they actually just spring up and now you have um, nail clippers so that's really cute I thought for the purse you know um, and and you never know, right? Sometimes you have a hangnail or whatever and you want to clip that. Um, but what I really like about it is that you can go ahead and pull that same lever back and it goes back into this little tiny thing. So it's really nice. That way you don't, um, you know, end up damaging your bags on the inside or snagging anything with, um, you know, with the tips of the nail clippers. So really like that item for my bag. And the last thing I have is a little tiny thing, a dental floss. Uh, never know when you're going to have run into something that you eat that gets stuck in your teeth. So, Anyways, and that is it for my Toiletry 19. Like I said, it, this bag, I love it. This pouch, I love it because it's, you know, it holds a ton and um, it's really just beautiful. I didn't, wasn't too sure if it was going to um, fit in my um, pochette Matisse, but it actually fits just right uh, in that center compartment. So anyways, but I, I, I may still, I, I really want to add um, the Toiletry 15 to my collection. So I may end up still doing that. Um, you know, that way I could maybe um, add something else into the center compartment like my um, agenda. So I may do that. But anyways, for now, make do with what I have. I have my Toiletry 19, which holds a ton and that's probably way more than I need to on a daily basis. But anyways, the last thing in the center compartment is actually this, um, this little bag. It's called Begu. And I can't remember, I think, I can't remember where I got this. It, it was like a free gift, I think. But anyways, it's really cute because you can pull it out and it comes out. And it's basically a shopping bag, but the reason I was carrying it in my pochette Matisse was just in case, uh, you never know, on a rainy day, um, when you might get stuck and you may need to protect your bag. So I, um, you know, so I, I definitely, I love that this little pouch is super, super um, compact and thin, very thin. So here's, here's how thin it is. I mean, you can see it doesn't take up absolutely no room in my, in my bag. So <clears throat> I'm glad I have this so that way um, if I ever need to protect my bag I can or you never know when you might just need an extra pouch to hold stuff. So that's it for the middle compartment of the center compartment. The next, the last and the very back I have two items in here. The first is my little um, key clay. Um, this is just um, a little key pouch that I have and I actually got this item pre-loved because I wasn't I wasn't entirely sold on the whole um, key clay um, you know, pouch, because uh, when I saw it on the website, I just thought, God, this thing is so small. What could it possibly hold? Um, so I decided, you know, before I invest, um, you know, the retail value of, of purchasing this, I wanted to try it pre-loved. So that's what I did. I went and I purchased this um, pre-owned and, you know, it, it's actually in very, very good condition for being pre-owned. Um, you know, it has a, just a tiny bit of, um, like, like uh, chipping on the hardware here, just just a little bit, not too bad. I'll see, maybe you guys can see it here. Um, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me. So anyways, um, so yeah, I actually have been using, you know, I've used this um, before for my uh, key fob and my house key and my um, post office box key and that was great for a while. And then now I just have, um, actually I have some, um, my additional cards that don't fit since I'm using my um, Tory Burch um, little card holder. There are certain cards, you know, that I always probably need to carry with me, like my insurance cards and, and stuff like that. So anyways, I this this pouch actually is perfect for that. So I have that in there and then I have, you know, so, uh, some more cash, a couple more bills in there. And um, I have, I usually carry a hair tie in here. Uh oh, it looks like it's gone. So I usually, what I was doing was I was clipping the hair tie to this thing so that way when I pull cards out of out of the pouch it doesn't I don't lose that hair tie 
but um, it looks like I used it. So I'm gonna have to replenish my hair tie in there. Um, that way I'm not caught with that one. So anyway, so yeah, this is a really nice item that I have been enjoying. Um, the next thing I have here, and the, actually the last thing in here, is going to be my six key, re, uh, what, what is this called? The six key uh, holder from Louis Vuitton. So this is in the Damier uh, Bean print, um, just like my key pouch was. So anyways, um, and this, I just have uh, my key fob in here, and I actually have our house key, a mailbox key, and I think these are my um, my sister. I have a, one sister that lives in town here with me, and my parents' key. So anyways, I have all of those inside of my um, six key ring holder here. And um, I, yeah, I really like, I, I mean, like, I can't even recommend, I mean, this would be, to me, people say this should be your first um, item um, to own from Louis Vuitton, but honestly, I think I would recommend this one a lot more. Um, I This thing is just awesome. Um, I can't say enough good things about this, and this print is beautiful, but um, they really hold up well. I have no uh, glazing issues at all um, on this piece, and actually, um, Surprisingly, this is actually a pre-loved piece as well that I picked up um, because again, it was kind of going back to my same story with this. I wasn't really sure that I was going to like this. And so um, I went ahead and I picked it up pre-loved, but absolutely, um, this actually was in very, very good condition, probably excellent condition in my opinion. So to be honest, you know, if this, you know, if there comes a day where this gets, you know, pretty worn out, I will definitely be repurchasing this from Louis Vuitton because I really, really uh, love this um, six key holder. And the last thing in my bag here is going to be in this back pocket here in the back and it's going to be uh, my phone. So I just have the iPhone 6S um, and uh, yeah, this this is, um, it actually fits just perfect inside of um, here. So it was, I was going to, um, yeah, my, I had a bunch of, somebody was actually calling me <laughs> that second. Today's my birthday, so everything, you know, people have been calling me throughout the day. So anyways, really nice. But that is pretty much everything that I have in my beautiful pochette Matisse. And so uh, I was just really happy that I could uh, find the time to show you kind of what I, how I packed it and what I have in there. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And again, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions about any of the items that, um, sorry, I was trying to move this camera back up. If you have any questions about the items that you saw today, please let me know and I'd be happy to do a review of those. Um, and that's all for now. So take care everyone and have a good day. Thanks.